last major topic for this particular update course is startup and recovery. So let's talk about managing both. Let's talk about system configuration for startup. Now you may already know this. There is a tool you can type, msconfig. It's also known as system configuration. msconfig is the executable name. If you type msconfig or you type system configuration, you're going to get this tool. It'll allow you to set startup types and boot options. Now, let me zoom in because I want to make a comment here. Okay. This is really cool because you can say how you're going to boot. Like, for example, let's say that we need to uh, do a safe boot. Now, safe boot is the old safe mode, meaning that you only load just enough drivers to kind of see uh, the network, to see the and browse around. All this other stuff does not get loaded. Um, you can even choose to not have or not have network drivers. So we could say in the safe mode with networking. So at least I can make a connection to the network, but my sound card's not working and um, my printer drivers are not working and all these things. The reason why we boot into safe mode is because something messed up and we need to boot in the most minimalist way possible so we can go into the control panel, find the offending device and uninstall the driver or update it or something. So that's what safe boot is. We used to call it safe mode. If we're really messed up, like the video is really messed up, we can even say no GUI because the, maybe the video is so bad we just need to be command prompt. That, that's a rough one. We can have a log of everything that is booted. The boot log is cool because if you say, I don't know which driver messed us up, the boot log will show starting this, success, starting this, success. It'll go all the way down, dozens and dozens, until it says starting this, failure. And you can go, aha, bingo, let's go back into safe mode and uninstall that one. Um, base video means just like, like um, really, I don't know if it's 16-bit video or 4-bit video, but it's like really low video quality. And uh, also give us boot information. We can have a timeout. So this is stuff we can set just for booting. And this is just so that, like we're having trouble, so let's boot into a safe mode with like as little as possible. That's what this part is in sysconfig. In addition, you can go to the services tab right here and the startup tab and you can say what services and programs are going to start or not start when we reboot. So this is a really good tool to have and to know. It's called System Configuration, also known as msconfig. All right, how about recovery? Now we've had, since XP, something called restore points. So let's talk about those restore points. System protection. In system protection, you go into the properties of the system. And it used to be that we would just right click my computer, go to properties. But you could go to system properties. And one of the tabs is called system protection. We use it to create a restore point and roll back the system to a previous restore point. Now, let's talk about the strategy here. So you go to the system protection tab. This is the old restore points. You choose what you're going to protect. And what you're doing is you're saying, I'm going to save or set aside amounts of disk space to basically make copies of the operating system, the key parts of the OS, and the registry, which is all the configurations. And I'm going to save that. Uh, and um, I'm going to save it at some point here, like point in time. So let me create a restore point now. Once I've created the restore point, I'm going to install an application. And um, in case that install messes up, I can always roll back to the point in time before I did the install. So the strategy is, and Windows is supposed to do this automatically for you, but <laughs> it doesn't always. Um, before you make any major change to your system, such as installing software, create a restore point. And label it, restore point before installing blah, blah game, OK? And then when you're about to install the next thing, create a restore point. This allows you to, in case something really messes up, 
come into the system properties, come to the system protection tab, click the system restore button, and you'll have a whole list and you just pick one and it will load those um, core operating system components and your registry settings and it'll load them to that. Now, if your whole OS gets trashed, like the, all the files are trashed, this isn't gonna restore all of it. Uh, this is only like the most key things. So you might have an OS that gets so messed up, you just have to reinstall. And then you can boot from a boot disk and you can try to repair. But this is, I installed an application which messed me up, so I'm gonna roll back before that point. Or I started surfing the internet looking for things and I clicked something I shouldn't and now I'm so infected with malware, I can roll back. Of course, it rolls back to everything I installed legitimately as well, so just be aware of that. When you set up the protection settings, you can say what drives I am going to protect. And then you can also say um, what disk space am I going to allocate for this? Because this does take up disk space. And so we can create a restore point right now. Just click a button, create, boom, we've got one. And you've got that. So I recommend you create restore points before you do anything major. And so if you have to roll back, you can. I, I've certainly done it here and there, and it's really saved me. So why don't we take a look at startup and recovery settings?